Welcome happy campers, it's me Amanda here at Cookville RV Marine on this sunny day in Tennessee. And today we're taking a look into this 2022 Grand Design Reflection 303 RLS. But before we get started, don't forget, hit that like button, the subscribe button, and the bell notification icon so you get notified whenever we post a new video. And we're gonna start this one off right here. As you can see, we've got two large awnings that worked perfectly, if I have to say so, for this amazing reflection. This gives you a few different options as far as your setup for your campground, and if you wanna have one area for cooking or one area for hanging out, or you just want a bigger area, you've got two awnings on this one. We also have lots and lots of storage, which we'll get to, but we also have LED light strips, outdoor speakers, and pretty much everything you need to have a wonderful day at the campground, but let's look at the storage. Here we are at the pass-through storage. Now this side is one big lift-up slam latch door, and the other side is more of a barn-style door, but they both do have magnets to hold them in bay. You don't have to worry about that getting in your way. Well, check out how much space we have down here. We can fit tables, cornhole boards, uh, chairs, anything else you're taking with you. And we have lights under here, extra outlets, battery disconnect on this side. Looks like we have our auto leveling system on that side next to our convenience bay, of course, and all the normal stuff is there. But I think it's time to step inside. Here we are on the inside of this reflection. It looks pretty normal as far as colors and layouts. But with the 303 RLS, you do get that rear living space, which we'll get to that. But when we step in here, we have our controls at our front door, easy to read, easy to reach. And we have our fuse box just down below in that cabinet hidden. We have some of our air conditioning controls as well as our vent controls all in the same area, super convenient. And let's not forget about the door. I'm sure you saw the screen door was uh, closed while our regular door was open. That's a great thing to use, especially in the summer. It helps keep this camper a little bit cooler and the windows are definitely a plus. But let's move right on to this kitchen. In our entryway, we have this storage sort of buffet area and we have a really large countertop space here. Really good for a coffee bar or a bar for the weekend. You also have a USB charging station as they put a handy little sign right there. And we have two outlets underneath here as well. And all of this storage, I mean, you can definitely fit electronics, uh, blenders, or any other things you need to bring and you need to store them. You've got big drawers. I mean, all of this is definitely handy. So we have this and we also have an island in this floor plan. As you can see, we have rounded corners. We have a really lovely light above it so it feels like home. So they give you plenty of space if you're looking to host and have extra dishes everywhere. Underneath our tiles, we have our sink. It's a pretty massive sink, very residential with this same matching faucet with a removable faucet head, of course. And there's more storage in this island and enough space. Let me double check. Yep, enough space for a small trash can underneath there. But you do have some other storage options, including a pantry with its own light. I love that it has a little window in there so you can see what kind of snacks are in there without having to get in. We also have a Furion range. This is a three burner top range and a recessed oven that's quite large with an extra small drawer at the bottom, which I do think they sell inputs or inserts for those. And we also have extra drawers, extra outlets, and again, don't forget, we have a microwave residential. Moving on, we have a Furion refrigerator. Again, things change all the time in these campers, so check the refrigerator. But I wanna show you, so when we get these styles of refrigerators in, I've noticed they've been using something like this for your travel lock. So usually you'll see either a bungee style lock at the top, or a screw nozzle that holds all your doors in. They've opted for just this little plastic piece that slips right over so that way your doors don't go slamming open when you're going down the road. It's helpful. Here we are in the rear of this reflection in our rear living area. We've got our entertainment space with extra storage up top for board games or DVDs. And we have our indoor outdoor speaker system controls as well as our DVD player controls. Nice big TV on a swivel, everything's normal there. An extra large drawer for again, I'm thinking games could fit in there, it's an entertainment space. And we have a really large fireplace that doubles as a heater and has really cool lights. And another plus of this floor plan is this couch back here. This is your guest space. It pulls out into a full-size bed. Um, again, you've got lots of windows around it. Your guests even have extra compartments above my head for their things. 
if they wanted to keep it a little bit private. And each person also has a side table that acts as a bedside table. And it looks like we have an outlet down below. Yeah, so you've got plenty of places to charge your phone or any other electronics. And if you guys choose to have a full house and maybe watch a movie, the theater seating definitely comes in handy. Again, massage, heat, lights, a recline, and they're stored for the remotes. You don't lose them every five seconds. And you've got the number one view in the house. But I enjoy this living space, and there's a place to sleep for guests, so it's all worth it. But let's look at this dinette. For this floor plan, we have a freestanding dinette with two chairs and a bench with a cushion. Now, this bench is not fully stationed in there and you do have extra storage under there and you can either choose to use it here or maybe move it to a different part of the camper and only have uh, chairs here, whatever you prefer. But don't forget about all of these windows. If it's getting hot in here, turn on that vent fan, open up all these windows, and these blackout shades do a really good job too. So let's hop back to the bathroom. Now check out this lighting change we have here, and that's because our shower is sort of our focal point of this bathroom. Uh, they used to do the frosted glass, or you know, where you couldn't see through it, but I appreciate this because all of that life from the sunroof it's just flooding in here, so you wouldn't even have to waste your time putting the lights on. It'd be fine in here. It's a really big shower, just to talk about it for a second. And we got that extra large removable shower head nozzle and an extra mesh bag for storage. But in this bathroom alone, we have a cabinet above our toilet with extra hanging spots for our towels. And it's got a mirrored front cabinet, so extra towels, supplies, or anything else. We have a medicine cabinet, of course and our sink area with a really large sink and extra open shelving for little things that you like to keep out and in sight, uh, skincare, uh, straighteners, anything like that will fit in here. And we also have a wardrobe option with a removable uh, shelf there. We can take that out if you wanna use that as shelves or if you wanna use that as a wardrobe, either or, but this is in your bathroom, so it's just more storage. But let's look into the master. From your main entrance in the hallway, you see your master with this really lovely residential size bed and all of the storage around it, including those cabinets, the extra ledge where we have some outlets on both sides instead of that one USB charger in the middle. I kind of like this a little bit better. That way your phone can also reach these side tables with each sconce has their own on and off switch, so a private sconce too. And they've added these extra lights with their own switches down here and I like that. It's giving it more light in this room but on the other view from our bathroom entrance we see a full view of our wardrobe that has mirrors on the front but again we have this uh either a wardrobe or you can use it for extra storage and that rod is not a normal rod it's a travel rod so your stuff isn't going to go back and forth during the whole trip and we have extra storage up here i would think that's a good place for a laptop or any of your electronics and it's got a little window over there too so keep that open for airflow but all in all, loving this master. So what do you think of this reflection? Give us a call if you're interested or visit us online at cookfullrv.com where your adventure awaits.